So just as a little bit of an introduction to what this vlog series is about, it's kind of like a study guide for IT networking leading up to hacking. And that's stuff that I've been interested in, that's stuff that I've been trying to study, but it's not very clear in terms of the roadmap for how how does I learn to hack web. Uh, there's not a lot of structure and there's not a lot of, mm, there's nothing that you can really follow if you want to put in the effort. Like everyone fucking says, you need to put in the effort to get something done, all the boomerisms and all this. Well, it doesn't matter if you are like trying to cut down a tree with a butter knife. You're doing it the wrong fucking way. Get yourself a damn chainsaw. It's like, yeah, it's going to take a lot of effort, but are you really accomplishing anything better than if you're using a chainsaw? No, the, the objective, you need to have objectives in mind. And that's something that I absolutely hate about gurus is they don't think in objective terms. And it's other thing is that thinking in objective terms doesn't sell in the sense that uh, it, it doesn't get people to want to buy your self-help book. When people buy self-help books, they're not actually buying advice, they're buying feelings. Um, and that's why like a, a proper workplace, a, uh, a a program that's meant to build work skills is something that has to be objective focused in order to be successful. It's not based off of, oh, feely wheely, I've made a bunch of sales. Popularity is no marker of efficacy. Uh, your actual accomplishments in terms of what are you able to produce is what matters, not just what people think about you. And that's a terrible misconception that a lot of people have. They place too much emphasis on what others think about them. And I understand that that's very much a human instinct that we all have, where we want to be viewed by others in a positive light. And I could go into genetic reasons for that and how that's important. You need to have a sense of conscientiousness about caring how other people think about you in order to have a functional society and you want to consider how others would feel that's the golden rule after all consider how they do unto others as you would have them do unto you but in the broader sense uh, you would want to consider others feelings with just small things like i'm going to the grocery store and i don't stand in the middle of the aisle so that people can't get around me and then that forces an awkward conversation where especially in america you have to go you know you're a bit big and I can't move this shopping cart around you because you're an idiot standing in the middle of the aisleway. Now I sound like a freaking boomer saying stupid things like that. But that's just a very small microcosm of a lack of conscientiousness and how it gets in the way if people in the broader sense don't care at all about what others think about them. And when it comes to teamwork, that's another thing where team building is a lot about understanding other people's thought processes within a certain context. So when you are doing hacking competitions and you have a team of people where everyone has their specialty, you need to do exercises together in order to understand, okay, this guy's more comfortable with that. He's more comfortable with this. And you kind of understand your place. And you also need to establish hierarchy because if someone doesn't know who's calling the shots and everyone is is trying to grasp at the reins for control, it's just going to be absolute chaos and nobody's going to understand how to get anything done. Um, so yeah, conscientiousness is an important thing. And also just getting some stuff off of my mind about how stupid it is that people follow like these guruisms about, oh, do what makes you feel good. And that's another thing that I absolutely hate with going into uh, IT and all this. There's a lot of like introductory material about it's all about the mindset. Hacking is a mindset. If you just think in a certain way, then you're able to solve these problems that it takes persistence. And yeah, get out of here. I don't care about your little mindset stuff. Tell me the techniques. I don't care about any of that. So what I'm going to be focusing on here with this series after this intro video, how do, how do hackers learn their art? They actually run the code. They, they get scripts that they run and they see how it breaks things and they see how that opens up exploits. You, Yeah, it's important to understand the underlying architecture of how do networks work and how do things come together and what's this category of cable? Sure, I'm sure in some obscure ass situation, maybe that's going to be useful sometime because it's a stupid formality for certifications. And yeah, if you're going into the corporate world, then you have to get certifications and all the hoops that you have to jump through. Yes, yes, I understand why it's there. It's to filter the scrub out or whatever. But when it comes to actually gaining skills, it's not about, oh, you just got to get in the right mindset. No, you have to have exposure to the material in a way that makes sense and in a way that demonstrates practical skills that will translate into something that you're actually going to do to be effective. And that's why efficacy is like the number one thing that's on my mind when it comes to studying. Because there's a lot of shit where it's like, 
memorize these ports. If you really enjoy flashcards and you really enjoy memorizing stuff, sure, go ahead. I don't fucking enjoy that because that's not something that's going to translate into a real world skill. If I need to know those specifications, I would just fucking look it up. And yeah, oh, you just look it up and you would look at people today. They're not memorizing anything. They're just looking things up because it's so convenient to have on. It's so convenient to just have the internet. It's it's not even that. It's that that's not a skill. Being able to recall little bits of information, especially when it's this categorical shit of uh, this port is associated with this service and this port is associated with that service. And then you can have port forwarding, which makes all of it fucking irrelevant because you can assign the ports to, to basically be aliased to be whatever the fuck you want. And any any network worth its fucking salt is going to do that. You see, I don't understand enough like off the top of my head to make a demonstration of this because I haven't had exposure to things that would allow me to bring these hypotheticals into a technically accurate demonstration. I can't do that off the uh, like back pocket. There you go. Here's a demonstration of something that's technically accurate that would explain in thorough detail how this thing would work. I wish I had access to that kind of shit because you know what? You might fucking learn something from that. But I, just the lack of such material that focuses on technical accuracy and demonstrate Demonstrating. demonstrating useful shit instead of listing dumb shit that you're just going to look up anyway. You can tell from my whole presentation here that it's, it's goddamn frustrating. And so that's what I'm trying to just get over and get past with this is uh, putting together my study information in a way where I'm enhancing my own learning by trying to convey things to others as well as uh, just reviewing some of this stuff because I hate the formality of you got to get these certifications to get past this or that, whatever. And hopefully I'll be able to grow by the end of this and it will not be so frustrating, but it will be enlightening.